Hey guys, here is a video on the cinnamon scented pine cones that I wanted to show you. We do these every year and they come out awesome and it's so much cheaper than buying them in the store and they actually last a lot longer. Um, and you can always rescent them, which is super, super easy to do. So I decided this year to try them with acorns as well. So I know a few of you guys said that you don't have pine cones in your area. Um, so if you have acorns in the area, try collecting some of those and do it and then maybe grab a mason jar or something. So what you're going to do is that when you collect them to open them up a little bit more, especially the pine cones and kind of get all the dirt and the bacteria and bugs, of course, because we know I hate bugs. Um, you're going to place it on a sheet of tin foil and then put it in the oven for probably about 45 minutes to an hour at 200 degrees and it'll get rid of all that bacteria and bugs and it actually opens up the pine cones to make them look really, really pretty. So it makes them look like this and opens them up. So if they're closed when you get them, they look like that and they smell good. Yes, my son says they smell good. So then what we're going to do is take this bag first and then we're going to place them, put the pine cones in the bag. You're gonna place all the pine cones in a bag, and then the acorns we, we're gonna place in a separate bag as well. So, and this takes up to four weeks to do to let the smell actually stick with the pine cones. So you wanna actually do it now if you want it ready for fall. Um, and obviously I'm so impatient, so I'll probably pull them out in two weeks. So now that the pine cones are in the bag, what you're gonna do now is you're going to spray the pine cones, spray it with a lot of water. So open the bag and spray it with some water. Good. My helper. It's my fall stuff. I already have some stuff up. Spray them and get them wet. And then we actually have, um, I'm going to be doing a Christmas one too where we bleach them and I have this smell, the Christmas spirit one. And we also have pine scent, so we're going to be doing that one, which I'm excited about. So you'll have to watch that one too when we do it. But we're going to be dropping the cinnamon bark one in, so it's going to smell so awesome. And then what you're going to do is, it doesn't smell yet. It does. It does? Okay, so when you're done spraying them, all right, so now they're pretty, a little, probably wet. Okay, so then now what you're gonna do, oh yeah, they do smell. So they smell actually really good when they come out. So now hold the bag up, okay, and then now drop four drops of this in. So now he's gonna drop the oils in. You can do five, okay? And then now you're gonna close the bag. Smells good. Smells good. And then now you're going to close the bag and just shake it. Shake the whole entire bag. And then that's basically it. And then you're going to let it sit for four weeks. And that's it. And then you take it and put it in a mason jar, put it out in a bowl. You can mix it with anything else. And you could put anything else in there. So if you buy like little scented pumpkins or something, actually non-scented pumpkins, you can get those tiny little pumpkins at the dollar store. You can even throw those in here with them. And then they'll be scented as well. But these come out amazing. And then if you even find that the scents are coming off, you can just take two or three more drops of the cinnamon um, and drop them back in the bag for like a day or two and then put them back out in the bowl and they smell amazing. And you can actually do this with any of your favorite scents. So if you don't like cinnamon and you want to do it with vanilla or uh, pine or anything really, you can do it with anything. So I'm going to have the full tutorial below. So click the link below and we'll give you a, you know, the, the full directions on it. What? What? <laughs> what do you want to say? You don't want to say anything? No? Okay. And um, you could try them with the acorns as well. We're going to try them with the acorns too and see how they come out. So click the link below and you will be able to find out all the full directions on them. So they come out pretty cool.